so much okay but the wig that i'm wearing is from all love hair this is their straight hair it's a 13 by 4 lace front wig the grade of hair is a 10a gray virgin remy human hair and it is it is in 24 inches y'all this unit is very very affordable i feel like it is a really nice unit for the price especially for the length y'all it is super affordable as y'all can see it is really long it's 24 inches i'm short or whatever so it really looks really long on me i really like the quality of this hair it took really well to the color I really wasn't expecting it to take well to the color but it did so i'm happy about that it did take well to the color and i only had to use one box or whatever i bought two but i only had to use one box which i thought was really really good the hair as you guys see was really easy to curl all i did was add some freeze spray i didn't put any other product on the hair be um before curling or anything the only thing i did was wash the condition i mean wash the um color out and a conditioner i conditioned it and that was it you guys it didn't have a foul smell or anything out of the packaging the ends of the hair looks really really nice like they're not like straggly or anything it is minimal shedding you will get a few strands like i got a few strands as i was brushing through it but it's not nothing like too bad or anything um it does come pre a little pre-plucked i didn't do no extra plucking to it but it does come a little pre-plucked and also comes with shorter pieces in the front for you to create baby hair so i think that was cool as well i went ahead and did a side part so i could add my little clips y'all know these are on trim right now but yes y'all i really like this hair the only downside to it is i don't know what it is with virgin remy hair or brazilian hair for whatever reason it does frizz a bit when you curl it so i did get a few little frizzies but i mean it's not too too bad so i'm i'm happy about that and actually y'all this cap actually fit my head so good a really nice unit i'm really impressed with how it took with the coloring it didn't have a foul smell or anything out of the packaging so i'm really impressed with this company like i don't really have anything bad to say can you guys believe it <laughs> that's i always got something to say but i don't have any cons really to this unit like i don't have any cons besides like the frizziness but that's not even nothing major so let's just go ahead and get into that portion of this video. All right, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all how your package comes. It comes all packaged really nicely. And they include some lashes. They include your wig, a wig cap. They also included this shirt as well with their logo on it. That is really cute. All right. So this is how the unit looks straight out of the packaging, as you guys can see really nice it didn't have a foul smell or anything like that straight out of the packaging just smells like hair so as you guys can see it does have tracks at the back lace at the front and it has four combs but i did go ahead and remove the combs because i never need them so i went ahead and shampooed the hair and then i'm now i'm just brushing it out because we're going to go ahead and apply our color all right so i went ahead and i used the dark and lovely fade resistant color i got this from walmart i'll put the color and everything in the description box below so it just shows you know what color your hair will turn out it has the developer the color and the conditioner so i'm just applying the color to the developer the cream developer and then i'm just going to shake that all around and apply it onto the wig front and back but like i said i only applied this on the end of the wig i didn't put it up where you know the roots of the wig is at because i only wanted the color to be at the bottom so if you put this color all over your unit you will need two boxes but i only needed one because i only did the bottom and i did use the full bottle and i just flipped it around and made sure the color was evenly distributed on both sides of the hair So I should have put the foil on the bottom, but I just went ahead and put it on top. But this is what the color looked like. I left it on, y'all, for like four hours. <laughs> I mean, it didn't harm the hair or anything. So then I went ahead and rinsed it out. Y'all probably can't see the color right now because the hair is still wet. But I just wanted to show you guys what the hair looks like wet. And I did let the unit dry overnight. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my hair situated. Now I usually do not show you guys this part but I decided to add it in just to show y'all what I do um, with my afro. So I just spray it down with water. I'm tip I usually do this on old hair too and then I'm just applying some pink moisturizer so that's going to be my you know way that I'm going to moisturize my hair with the braids and I literally just do braids straight to the back. I detangle with my fingers with the pink 
oil moisturizer and then I just braid my hair all the way down and this is what I do to my natural hair under wigs my hair has gotten so much longer so fast and I can't get away with putting on my wig without braiding my hair down anymore uh, I miss my TWA my little teeny weeny afro but hey so this is just what I do So then I take some Eco Salad Gel once my hair is all braided down. The braids don't got to be perfect, girl, as long as you just get that fro down. And I'm just going to put the edge control, the edge control, really, the Eco Salad Gel on my edges and brush them back because you don't want them sticking out or anything when you're going to go ahead and apply your unit. So I did fix the adjustable straps and then I applied the unit. Now this unit fits my hair really nicely, really snug. I believe it's a cap size small. Um, I could have just went ahead and applied it and wore it glueless, which now looking back I should have. But yeah, you can definitely wear this unit glueless. But I mean you can definitely go in and pluck it some more too if you would like. It's all in up to you. But yeah, I didn't feel the need to do all that because it wasn't like I was going to wear the wig pushed back. So all I did was my Mona B's Ratchet Installation and I just sprayed some Got To Be Glue Free spray across the perimeter and then I literally just applied my scarf and let that sit while I did my makeup. So I did split the hair in two sections although I'm just going to wear it in a side part but I did this so that I could curl it. As y'all can see the color is really vibrant, it's so pretty, I love it. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with my wand curler. I decided to go ahead and curl this hair. But I think the next time I wear it, I might press it out bone straight. So let me know in the comments what I should do to this hair next or whatever. But I only used some Got To Be Glue Free Spray on the curls when I was done, y'all. This hair definitely held a curl really, really nicely. And the hair was super easy to curl. Normally, I do not curl my hair while it's on my head I like to do it when it's on my mannequin but I decided to do it on my head today As y'all can see, I just applied the free spray to the ends. I went ahead and changed my part around to the other side. And then I decided to go ahead and put the hair behind my ear because I just thought that it would look a lot better. And then I decided to go ahead and add on some gold hair clips, which I thought was too cute. Alright, so then I decided to go in and lay the edges down just a little bit at the front. They had some shorter pieces, but I just cut them a little bit shorter and just swooped them around with some Eco Styler Gel and shaped them to how I wanted them to look. This is the final look of the unit. I think it looks really, really pretty. I love the color. Make sure y'all check out.